What's up everyone, this is Tech Break, and in this video I'm going to show you guys a head-to-head -head comparison between the Gorilla Glass 3 and the brand new Gorilla Glass 4. If you guys haven't already checked out the video, I do have a comparison between the Gorilla Glass 4 compared against the Apple Sapphire Display. There's going to be a link down in the description box below. As of right now, there's not a lot of devices with the Gorilla Glass 4. The only one that has it right now is the Samsung Alpha. There are a bunch of devices with the Gorilla Glass 3, and one of those is the Samsung Galaxy S5. But anyways, let's get started with this review. In this video, I'm going to have a head-to-head -head comparison between scratch tests using a key and knife. And after that, we're also going to have a bend test and see how much flex that each one can give. Before we get started, I just want to go over a little bit of a difference in thinness. You can tell right away that the Gorilla Glass 4 is definitely thinner and more flexible than the Gorilla Glass 3. Until it does give a lot of give and it looks razor thin. You can barely even see it right there, right here. Doesn't really flex that much. And it seems to be more like glass, and this seems to be more like almost like it's plastic. Compare them side to side. White's on top, you can barely even see it. And it's very thin. Don't get me wrong though, the third one is still pretty thin. The makers of the Gorilla Glass say that Gorilla Glass 4 is twice as strong as the last generation, which is Gorilla Glass 3. And we're gonna test that out in this video. So let's get started with this scratch test. We're going to start off going relatively soft on both of them. Then we're going to see if anything comes up. Now this is going to resemble now this is going to resemble wear and tear that's if you place your phone in the pocket. All right, let's wipe them off and see if there's any differences between them. I'm really not seeing any difference. Now we're gonna press it a little bit harder. Okay, now we're gonna press pretty hard using the key. And I'm putting a, a good amount of force into this. And it doesn't look like anything's happening as of yet. Let's go on the old one. Using the tip of the key now. Press them pretty hard on me and making scratches in the table so you know this is no gimmies here. All right, let's wipe it off. Bring them to the light and see if there's any differences or any scratches. I'm not seeing any scratches. Trying to look in the light and it looks like both of them passed the key. Now time to move on to this bad boy. All right, so we got our knife right here. Just like with the key, we're gonna start off at a medium strength on it. Go in different angles, see if anything happens. Try not to cut myself, that's a big thing here. So you hear that I'm pressing, so you hear that I'm pressing at like a decent strength. And it's not light. All right, let's see if there's any scratches. All right, I'm not seeing any marks on him. Now I'm gonna try and make a scratch using the knife. All right, same strength over here. Alright, now let's wipe these off and see if there's any marks on them. Alright, let's put them in the light. It looks to me that I'm not really seeing any scratches on these devices. Maybe a hairline scratch right there. Now it looks like to be just some hair or something. So both of them passed for the scratch test. So the results of the first test is both of them passed for the key and knife test. I was pressing relatively hard on both of them and I couldn't even get a mark. I have to say that that is pretty impressive. 
Okay, now it's time to move on to the bend test and flexibility test. I'm gonna push both of these to the limits and see what's the breaking point. And I'm gonna see if there's any comparison between both of them. I do have some winter gloves on. Some protection is better than none. So let's get started. Let's go. All right, so that broke right away. It barely even flexed. Tell right here that it just, just completely broke. All right, now we can try on the Gorilla Glass 4. And it does give some way. So there is a really big difference, and I think a lot of that has to do with how thin the new one is compared to the old one. Now I am going to break this to the limits, so we'll see what's the breaking point on this. Let's see if you could go all the way. It does very flexible right here. We'll see if we can touch the backs of each other. All right, and then just completely shattered. You got glass everywhere. But you can tell it's a lot more flexible than it is with the Gorilla Glass 3. And that's a huge difference right there, I must say. So overall, there really wasn't that big of a difference in the scratch test between the Gorilla Glass 3 and the fourth one. But there was a huge difference in the flexibility in the bend test with the Gorilla Glass 4 compared to the previous model. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be that cool guy that gives this video a thumbs up. If you guys have any video suggestions on how I should destroy my Samsung Galaxy S5, I'd like to hear from you guys, so just drop a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is Tech Break, signing off. Peace.